Hello, this is Mike Falkenberry. I'm going to tie an amp pattern, basically a deer hair amp pattern that uh, I like to use in Arizona. Material list, I'm going to use a Daiichi. Um, it's a 1110 size 12. Um, I have a little furnace hackle, a little black deer hair, and I'm going to use a little red foam in this one, as well as some flex cement. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten my thread. I'm using a 6 aught uni and uh, advance it back to the barb. I'm going to take some black deer hair uh, reference about a half a pencil width you know, it's kind of a feel. Just gonna prep the hair, get a lot of the fur out of it. Stack the tips. Pull it out with the tips towards my right. At this point, I'm going to take a little bit of flex cement and just dab that, give it a little sticky base over those thread wraps. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap those tips in to about three quarters of the length of the shank. Maybe a little longer. The tips don't compress a whole lot. So you can give it a nice little snug wrap up. But when you're coming back I'm going to flatten the thread and go touching wraps all the way back up it. I'm going to wrap it basically to where the bend is. So then I have that deer hair tied in. I'm going to take, I'm going to use red foam because it's just going to contrast a little better in the video. Strip about this big. I'm going to tie the foam in. Basically, I'm just going to tie the corners. I'm going to catch one corner, then come around the back, catch the other corner, and then wrap it forward to about a little beyond where the point of the hook ends. Then I'm going to palmer this foam. This is where having a little of that um, flex cement on that hook shank helps. And once I get that up there, I'm just going to use a couple of wraps, flatten that thread, wrap back up, trim it off. Not bad. Basically, if you don't use the flex cement on that shank with the thread before you do this, when you palmer, palmer that foam up, it'll just turn the whole hair and foam. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this over. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover as much as that of that red as I can and kind of build up a little ramp there. I got some hairs here I can trim. Then I'm just going to pull that hair over. I'm going to flatten the thread again. Sorry, I had to have a background there so I could see that it was flattening. Pull it over. I'm just going to do a couple of light wraps. 
trying to make sure I keep everything 90 degrees. And then I'm going to hold that here in place. I'm just going to wrap forward about an eighth of an inch on this. What you'll see is I have a real nice butt end of the, the black ant. I have a, riot, a little red hot spot on it. And I built a nice little landing uh, spot for my hackle. So I'm just going to prep the hackle here. Hackle might be a little small, but it'll work well for the intended purpose. So I'm going to tie this in. Before I do that, for durability, you could take a little bit of this flex cement and just coat that that deer hair. You can get it up into the thread. It's not going to hurt anything. Deer hair, you know, if it gets caught in fish teeth, it'll tend to flare. This will seal it without adding too much weight. So, normally I do that, prep my feather. Basically, I'm going to take the feather, I'm going to cut the barbs off of this end and that end. I'm going to cut the barbs here, cut the barbs there, and then I'll tie it in. So I'm just going to blow on this flex a minute, it'll dry up in a minute. Okay, I'm going to tie in this furnace with the furnace side or the, the brown side pointing forward. Let's see, that's not going to work. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to trim one side a little more than the other. And that, what that does is that gives me just a little start on the ramps. So if you see this one's short, this one's a little longer, I'm going to tie it in. That way when I start, it doesn't catch the barbs on the hook straight away. I'm going to wrap it back to it. I'm going to wrap it forward. Get it there. If you want to add a little bit of durability, you can put a little flex cement right on that thread. That you just wrap the hackle stem in. Just going to move that deer hair forward a little bit, then I'm going to palmer this forward. Let me get it up at the top. Catch that with one, two wraps. I'm going to hold this whole assembly up and then I'm going to tighten the thread. The problem that I see with people when they're tying is they want to tighten the thread, but they don't hold the material in place. So I stand a good chance if I just grab this and pull, of pulling that whole assembly over. So, you know, it's always a good habit to support the material, tighten the thread. Um, now I'm just going to move this all forward. I'm going to come in here with my scissors. Trim that out. Then what I'm going to do, the next part is pretty easy. I'm just going to mas massage this hair back and come up to the front here. Like that. And some of that hackle will get caught on there, but it's not permanent. That flex, flex mint will dry a little harder here in a bit. So I've wrapped, I got that up to the eye. Then I'm just going to take the, the rest of this deer hair. I'm going to do the same type of thing. I'm going to hold it up in place. I'm going to put two wraps. Try not to catch any of the hackles. Then I'm going to hold the deer hair and tighten with my left hand. 
it's going to flare like that. You can switch hands and support. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reach up here. I'm going to trim that. Clip finish. You're going to see some of those hackles are going to get stuck, but such is life when you're tying in the hotel. So then, come over and fluff it out. Just getting some of those fibers, those barbs out. Go like that. Whip finish is done. Trim that up. Pull some of that up. You have a deer hair ant. It's got a little foam in the butt here that helps it float, but it also helps build a nice profile on the back. Not a hard tie. The thing I like about this versus a, a straight foam ant is I've never seen an ant that rides in the water with its butt up in the air and its head up in the air. Ants, beetles, they all ride in that water really level. So it's a little more natural presentation. Again, every fly tire thinks they can build a better mousetrap, but that is just a deer hair ant. Um, I don't really have a name for it. I don't claim to invent it, but it's a nice, if you look all the way around, it gives it a nice profile. And go from there. So that's the deer hair ant. The next 